Hello guys, welcome to the first video on Android SQLite database tutorial for beginners. In this video series, I'm going to show you how you can get started with SQLite using Android. We will look uh, in this video series how we can create a database and perform some database uh, queries like insertion, updation or deletion or other basic queries on SQLite database using Android. So let's get started and let's see uh, some important stuff regarding SQLite on Android. So first of all, what is SQLite? As you all know, SQLite is a database, which is an open source database, so you can use it for free. And it's a relational database, okay? And the most important feature about SQLite database is it's a local database, so it doesn't require any server or any ODBC or JDBC queries for query or connection for its uh, you know functionality. It's just you can say it saves its data into a text file and it's saved locally on your uh, you can say mobile uh, device or your tablet or whatever Android device you are using. And Android comes with the built-in SQLite database implementation. So you don't need to install any extra uh, libraries to use SQLite with Android. And the last uh, point is to create, update a database in your Android application, you can create a subclass of a class called SQLite Open Helper. This is a class which will help us to create and uh, you know manage our SQLite database. Now enough uh, of the theory, let's go to the practical part and let's start with creating uh, our app from scratch. So just open your Android Studio. We are going to start a new Android application and we will name our application as SQLite app for example and then click next or oh, select your minimum SDK as you already know how to select it click next and I'm going to select a blank activity next and main activity is okay for me so I'm going to finish now once your basic uh, app is created what we are going to do is we are going to create a class for handling the SQLite database. So go to your app folder and in the app folder, go to the Java folder and inside here, go to the package in which your main activity is there. So this is a package in which my main activity is there. So just go to the package and right click this package and we are going to create a new Java class and uh, we will name it as database helper class okay and click OK and this is a basic uh, blank uh, class and in here as we have discussed we want to uh, create or we want to extend this uh, class using our SQLite open helper so just uh, go here and just write extend SQLite open helper. Okay. And uh, it will uh, show some error because we haven't uh, imported the classes related to this SQLite open helper. So just click alt enter and just click this uh, button called import class and it's going to import this uh, class okay still it's showing error because we need to create or implement some of the methods from it so you will be able to see a small bulb red bulb here you just need to click this uh, bulb and then you just need to click implement methods and there are two important methods related to this class which are on create and on upgrade 
you are going to select both of them and click OK. And one more thing which is required is to create a default constructor. So once again, click this red bulb here and just choose create constructor matching super. Okay. And we are going to select first of them and just create it. Okay. So we have successfully created our database helper class, which extends from our SQLite open helper, which is the main class for handling uh, SQLite. And we have some basic uh, methods here and a constructor. Now for creating a database, first of all, we need a database name. Now let's uh, see how we can, you know, how we are going to create a database and what will be the name of our database and uh, all other stuff. So for uh, this, for example, to start with, we are going to create a SQLite database like this. And uh, the name of the database will be student.db. The SQLite database is not case sensitive. So you can use upper cases and smaller cases uh, together and it's not case sensitive. So case doesn't matter in SQLite. Okay. So the, our database name will be as student.db and it's going to contain four columns. First for ID for the student. Second is the name for the student. Third is the surname or last name for the student. And fourth column will be the marks scored by the student. And we are going to create database uh, or insert some data like this. So ID will can be one, two, three, four, for example, names, surnames and marks scored by the, this student. And in this video, we will just see how we can create this database, which is student.db and create the table, this table for our database. Okay. So now what we are going to do is uh, let's uh, declare some variables so that uh, we can define the name of our database. So let's declare our uh, variable, which uh, we are going to assign the database name. Okay. So let's declare public static final string and let's declare a variable name called database underscore name and we will assign the name of our database. For example, student.db, student.db. And I have told you uh, that case doesn't matter. You can, uh, you know, write student.db like this or in capital, it doesn't matter. It's going to uh, treat them as uh, same. Okay. And uh, Second, what we are going to do is we are going to declare our table name. So this will be our table name and let's uh, give the name to our table as student data table or student table, which will uh, resonate uh, perfectly with our table. And as we have discussed, this table is going to contain four columns, one, two, three, four. And for simplicity, let's uh, keep all the uh, variables as string. First column name was ID. Okay. So ID for the student and the table name is uh, column name is ID, right? So, or you can do something like this call underscore one call one is ID and similarly column two, column three, column four. So like this column two, column three, column four. First, uh, first column was ID. Second column was name. Third column was surname. And fourth column was marks. Okay. So these are the four columns. This is our uh, table name and this is our database name. Now in order to uh, create our database first, what we are going to do is 
we are going to uh, in the constructor we are going to create our database so we need to call a function which creates the database right so for simplicity let's reduce our constructor which only takes uh, this context okay and as you can see here the super class uh, we can just give the name of our database so our database name is this variable pass it here third is factory we are going to pass null here and the version for example version is equal to one now whenever this constructor is called your database will be created okay